How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe. I'm going to be reacting to Better Call Saul, Season 6, Episode 8. Thanks for stopping by. Once again, my name is Joe from Joe Reacts TV. If this is your first time, please stick around. I'll react to a wide range of shows such as She-Hulk, Andor, The House of Dragon, The Rings of Power, Rick and Morty, and many, many more. If any of those shows intrigue you, please stick around and subscribe. As for last episode, on the day of the Sam Piper settlement conference, Jimmy and Kim hastily reshoot their photos with the actor impersonating Casimiro. On the day of the Sam Piper settlement conference, Jimmy and Kim hastily reshoot their photos with the actor impersonating Casimiro, then pass them to Howard's private investigator, who is also working for them. Howard ingests Caldera's drug upon contact with the photos and embarrasses himself at the conference by appearing manic and falsely accusing Casimiro of accepting a bribe. Howard and Cliff are forced to settle the Sandpiper case for less than they wanted. Lalo surveys Gus's laundry, realizing he has built a hidden meth lab. Calling Hector, he tells Hector he'll attack Gus that night after realizing Gus's men monitored his call. Mike alerts Gus and redirects the security teams to protect Gus, leaving Kim and Jimmy's place unprotected. Howard deduces that Jimmy and Kim plotted his character assassination and confronts them at their apartment. Lalo arrives soon afterward, intending to interrogate Jimmy and Kim. Lastly, Kim urges Howard to leave, but Lalo kills him with a gunshot to the head. So that's a quick summary on what happened last episode. So before we start, please subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Please don't tell me this is where they threw Howard's body. Yep, namaste. Yep. Setting it up as a suicide, I bet. Man, how are you guys gonna get out of this? Like, how are you gonna... Uh... Simple. Simple. I know, I know. Black, medium height, short hair, glasses. He kind of looks like a librarian. Don't be fooled. <laughs> You're back here in an hour or. Send her. What? <laughs> Send she her. Do it. <laughs> yeah, but she's really clever. I don't know if she's going to stick to the plan. She will. Mm. No. no cops. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> she can do it. You know no, she can. Oh, I'll go. I'm stop. right. Just stop. Let's just stop it. I, oh my shut God. Up. Smart as the time. That's it. <laughs> Full no. shot. No. <laughs> oh, directed by Vince Gilligan. Save it. Hello, Harry. We were just Mark. talking. Yep, Tom gotta break the chair. What? I mean Tom Payne. Well, I care who he is. Oh man, what an angle. Who's Rabbit Moranville? Who? Rabbit Moranville. I didn't know any rabbit. What are you, some kind of genius or something? No. I hire and fire genius. Terrible. <laughs> Police. Man, that's... Okay, yep. Gus's house. House is gonna pan out. How did Lalo get Gus's home address? Maybe Mike will know what's up. I'm assuming they're watching all the cameras. Hope it's Mike that opens the door. Yep. We will handle this. You call Tyrus, get him to the condo now. You said you were watching us. Where were you? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> yep, I figured. Yeah, this was his plan all along. You know, they weren't going to kill Gus. Not like that. 
Wow. Just missed him. Cool. Justin Kim, first interaction. Good information. Come with me, both of you. <laughs> Nobody, uh, everybody else on me. We don't want to spook the neighbors. Going in deep. No way. Tell, don't tell me Gus is here too. Oh, Gus, why? Don't tell me he's gonna notice the fan. He's in. Wow. Wow. How does he get out of this? Only way I could think of, they go to the lab. Gotta slap this gun behind that tractor. <laughs> Idiot, don't tell me it answered the call. Damn. Damn. Luckily he has the body on there. Como decía, Gustavo nos va a llevar a conocer. Yo tenía una tina que hacía algo muy parecido, pero honor a quien honor merece esto está mucho mejor. Man, gas is getting punked. Lo que pienso de él. Damn. Perfecto. Tienes un minuto. Envirlo. Y ustedes, los salamancas, Yo. son peores parasitos que hay. Understand. Blood Yo. for blood. Hector will know I buried every one of you. Damn. But Hector got the last laugh, though. Breaking Bad. You done? Damn. Man, he can't be dead already, right? Damn, what's the rest of the season gonna be about? Lalo's dead already? I'm gonna die. Damn. P. Lalo, one of the craziest villains ever in television. Oh, he did get shot. <laughs> what a jingle. You happy with the way things went down tonight? Because I'm not. <laughs> How'd you know what we'll do? Mm. Yeah, they're going to have to put the body yeah, in the Mike. fridge. Gloves on. Bucks. The story you were setting up for this guy, yeah? <laughs> I'll call it a suicide, hoping the body will come wash it. Hey, <laughs> listen. Where do you need to be? Today, you're Meryl Streep and Laurence Olivier. <laughs> no staring into space, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, man. Dang, Howard and Lalo are literally underneath the lab. That's crazy. Good touch, Mike. Alrighty, so that was episode eight of Better Call Saul. The episode starts where last episode left off. Lalo wants to talk to Kim and Saul. He proposes a plan for Jimmy to take the car in the parking lot, take it over to Gus's house, take the gun, kill him, and take a video recording of his dead body. Jimmy is able to talk him down and to send Kim instead. Lalo eventually agrees and Kim goes on her way. Kim makes it to Gus's house, knocks on the door, and gets snatched by Mike. Mike interrogates her. Kim then tells him what Lalo's plan was, and they all start storming out to Jimmy's and Kim's apartment. While they're on their way, 
Gus goes over to the laundromat and is ambushed by Lalo. So Lalo basically set up that whole Kim Jimmy situation, try to get to Gus at the laundromat. It worked, and he starts videotaping everything as video evidence for Don Eladio. He has Gus take him down to the meth lab, and as I predicted, there obviously had to be a reason for why the gun is down there. On why Gus hid the gun in the tractor, he shuts off the power, grabs the gun, pops a couple shots, and there goes Lalo. That part was super surprising. I did not see the death of Lalo happening this episode. Like, what else is there going to be? Like, obviously, we're going to need to learn the fate of Kim, but there really isn't any outside dangers anymore other than themselves now. So from there, Gus is also shot, and having the doctor from across the border to come over and treat him, which will take about another three hours for him to arrive. Afterwards, Mike brings Kim and a stainless steel refrigerator and has a sit down with Saul and Kim, basically giving them a cover story, which he intertwined with what they were already doing in the first place. Obviously, it was a pretty traumatic experience that they went through, and now they're just going to have to go through their everyday lives pretending like this didn't happen. As Saul gets up towards the door, he sees Mike's goons putting Howard's body in the fridge, which is pretty haunting. And lastly, as they hinted at at the beginning, they're going to portray Howard's death as a suicide, and we see them bring the body to the lab where they bury both Lalo and Howard, which is just super crazy to think about that during Breaking Bad this whole time, the bodies of Lalo and Howard were underneath them. And that's pretty much all the main points regarding the episode. So if you enjoy the reaction, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,